So one of the great things about being an oculoplastic surgeon is that you get to treat a wide spectrum of disease. And I like to think about oculoplastic surgery as kind of divided between functional oculoplastics and uh, cosmetic oculoplastics. So for functional oculoplastics, we'll see things like trauma. So eyelid lacerations, orbital fractures, um, you know, after trauma. Uh, we can also see aging changes to the eyelid, so malposition of the eyelid, whether the eyelids are turned in, turned out, um, droopy lids, excess skin around the lids, we can treat that. Um, we can see tearing problems, uh, so from nasal lacrimal duct obstruction or um, canalicular problems, we can help create new tear ducts for the patients to help uh, alleviate their tearing symptoms. Uh, we do a lot with cancer, uh, cancer of the eyelids, so we'll work with our uh, dermatology uh, Mohs surgeons to uh, they'll excise the tumor and then we'll reconstruct the eyelids uh, using the surrounding tissue uh, to help give a uh, you know hopefully a normal appearance again to the eyelid. Um, we also deal with uh, tumors inside the orbit as well and these are divided into uh, benign tumors uh, that may be causing the eye to bulge out or maybe pressing up against the optic nerve causing vision loss. We can help remove those. Um, we can also deal with the malignant tumors inside the orbit, uh, tumors that may have come from the skin and invaded the orbit, or tumors that might have originated from the lacrimal gland, uh, and we, we also treat those. Uh, we also treat a variety of congenital conditions, uh, you know, patients born, born without an eye, uh, we, we treat that, uh, treat those sockets. Uh, patients who have congenital tumors, whether it's in the orbit or in the eye that extends out into the orbit, we treat that. Uh, patients who are born with a droopy lid or a nasal lacrimal duct obstruction, uh, we also treat them. Uh, and then uh, going to the cosmetic side of things, uh, we'll, we'll treat uh, patients who have you know, excess skin, uh, fat that is uh, kind of protruded around the, uh, the eyelids, we can treat that and, um, and do surgery to remove that excess skin and fat. Uh, we also do things like uh, Botox or filler for wrinkles and lines around the face uh, and in the eyelids. Uh, we can also do skin resurfacing with uh, lasers, uh, chemical peels, and things of that nature. So it's a wide, uh, wide variety of patients we'll treat. We can treat babies as young as you know, a few weeks to months old, and we can treat you know patients uh, you know who are much older than that. And we also treat you know a wide variety of disease patients who come in only wanting you know cosmetic procedures, Botox, but also we have patients who come in who have you know very lethal malignant uh, you know orbital disease that requires large uh, resection and surgery. So, um, you know, it's a wide variety of issues that we treat. Well, you know, the great thing about Bascom Palmer is, uh, you know, we're ophthalmologists first. Uh, we're we do a residency in ophthalmology, we have training in ophthalmology, and then we uh, do a fellowship in oculoplastic surgery uh, and a facial uh, plastic second. Um, so, our main concern uh, with our patients is to preserve vision, and we always keep the eye. Uh, at the forefront of, uh, of our minds when we're dealing with, with patients. So uh, when you're doing cosmetic procedures around the eye, whether it's surgery around the eyelids or uh, Botox or filler to the, um, you know, the periocular region, um, in the back of our mind we always have the, the patient's vision um, in, in, in our minds. And so we think about that and um, you know, take that into account when assessing the, you know, the risk of any procedure and we're equipped to deal with you know, any of those complications that may arise.